wonderful together. Pink and green, we could be a flower. A big old, <laughs> big, old, big old summer flower. Big old perfect summer flower. So how are you, and what happened? Just let's get right, what do you mean a personal meltdown? When I saw you last, you were on top of the world. Yeah. Yeah, that was three years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, things change, don't they? best to explain this as quickly and shortly as possible it was you know when I when I hit in this country music thing I hit so hard and I fast know. I went from literally obscurity of sitting in my apartment here in New York and no one knew me and I knew no one into being on shows like you well and this is you know, hardly big time are you kidding me everybody but, knows who you are girl yeah. so uh, so you know I was like lifted from my little comfortable world and yeah. I hit the floor and I ran for three solid years and I was running at the age of 47 I was not running at the age of 20 the yeah. way a lot of these people are that caught up with me 25 years in this business caught up with me uh, business caught up with me I went into menopause that caught up with me I lost my beloved dog my beloved cat and then my mother she was my last parent, yeah. and all of a sudden I went, you know, I don't feel like being sparkly and twinkly and shiny. And if you're not having fun in this business, you shouldn't do it for yeah. a while. So I just said, don't call me, I'll call you, and I just backed away. It's a kiss of death in this business. You know, I, I figure in this business a year, it's kind of like dog and cat lives. You know, one year of ours is seven of theirs. It's about the same in this. It's as if I have been out of the business for 15 years. I, I mean, you should have called me, I'm not making a joke. Our business, if you say, I'm, not, I'm going away, yeah. they let you go. Oh, yeah. Nobody is, the water closes over. Oh, yeah. That it's just a nightmare. It's not so much the audience and the fans, it's, it's the, the industry and the people who allow you to get to you. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. You know, if right. they don't let you through, you will never know about us whether you like it or not. Did you get help? I mean, because it's like bang, 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 bang. One loss after the next, after the next, yeah. after the next. Did you go into therapy? I didn't. I had done some therapy a little while before just because of all the hubbub. I didn't. They put me on hormones, and I became like this big, fat cat that just wanted to sit on pillows and go, uh. meow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> meow. And I would start, I'd feel myself start to go, okay, now, don't do that. And I'd go, meow. <laughs> And I got bigger and fatter and happier to sit. And then I just, I finally said, I'm going off of these things. They don't know anything. They don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think they you're don't right. know anything. But, and I said, I feel better and I'm back. And, and they made me do this album. So here I am. And the album is great. Thank you very great, much. Great, because they were playing up in the office and just going crazy. Yeah. Let me ask you, when you said like fame, because I remember talking to you about it, I think in our, our business, the ones I feel terribly sorry for are the ones that they hit at 11, you know, or, or 17. Time. They big hit time. big time. And the rest of their lives, they go, they're scratching around saying, I used to be so and so. I thought you were so lucky because you had, yeah. you had had all that garbage then, and then you had reached the point where you could entertain and enjoy it and live well, and you knew what you wanted, and you, you, you got crazy when you got it. Well, I, I, you know, the, the, the chemical changes that were going on in my body were time. making me not right anymore. Yeah. I was not able to sleep even if I wasn't going through this kind of crazy. Right. People don't realize what your routine is. This business is so spontaneous. It's all at the last minute, and just when you see a window of a day off, they go, you have an hour off. Can you fly to Austria? Yes. And you go, <laughs> well, no, and they go, well, then your career's over yeah. if you well, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, meow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, they, you, th you know, my manager's always coming in and saying to me, look, I know it's stupid, but there's a thing I know. in Nashville, and it's I X know. amount of money, and I always think if I don't take it now, I'll be an old lady saying, I have no money, and I should have right. gone, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, I was at least smart enough to handle my, my money very well. I, I did without money for so long that I didn't go crazy. I was not... I was not a kid either, and I'm also smart enough about this business to know that there ain't no next year. Yeah. Yeah. You can't guarantee that. So what you're making right now may be the last dime you make. So you better not spend it all on bull. You're getting me very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. Uh, here, have some hormones and we'll get you a nice pillow. <laughs> you can sit on it, everything 
I'll be fine. Tell me about your private life. What private yes. life? Yes. <laughs> Dating and love. Who is around? What's going on? Something terrific? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. Well, you know, it's weird because when you get big in this business, you start making money, you become famous, the men drop away. Yeah. yeah. They don't oh, exactly. I found that. They don't exactly. <laughs> Reason. I wasn't exactly, you know, like dragging them along the floor before, but uh, you know, it's weird. Nobody exactly says, you know, I need a date Friday night. I'll call Joan Rivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joan? Yeah, yeah, that's true. They and don't I say, do I can't because I got to go to Australia. Yeah. yeah. I, I got to go to Nashville on my hour off. Yeah. So, uh, so there is nobody right now. Um, you know, I'd love to have a fella. Yeah. Um, please. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> You're gonna stay for the whole oh, show. Oh yes. Oh sure. <laughs> Together we'll make Cindy Lauper just really unhappy. Yeah. So <laughs> stay tuned. We're gonna explain to Cindy Lauper why she's not happy. Also. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Well, you're not very paying. quickly, it, once you get successful, all of a sudden you look up and you realize that everyone around you is who you're paying. Right. Yes. And you may be friendly with them and they may be very dear to you, but nonetheless, once they're, they're not being paid, they will have to go somewhere else. That's yeah. right. And you go, ooh, all your Christmas cards are from business associates, yes. and you go, where are my friends? Yeah, yeah. You know. And that's why, but then when you figure out who your friends are, boy, do you cherish them. Yes, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. So I'm sorry to all of you out there that I've been just a bitch this whole year. I really <laughs> <laughs> what about romance? What about romance? What about, is, that, is that one of the reasons we're in Kansas City? That's one of the reasons. Yes. I mean, well, I found my romance in uh, Kansas City, definitely, yeah. and he's... Uh, a very understanding person and someone who um, is also in the business but uh, hasn't been able to be quite as successful but he is a part of my success as right, well right and so uh, it takes a very understanding person when uh -huh. you're on the phone and he's calling you up in Sweden saying hi where are you, yes, you yes, yes. And, and you're saying yeah get here if you can yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> baby yeah, and he tough. also kind of become mr. Olita no, he, he, I, I, um, if he does, it's by his own choice. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that's just... That's too, but that's also... It is. Well, that's the package. I don't yeah. really think he really minds yeah. that much. It's He's also just, fun. They say, gee, I'm with a lady who's famous and accomplished. Mm -hmm. Takes a strong man. That's... <laughs> well, it does. Anyway, it does. It it's does. a very strong it man. We're going to go strong. to commercial now, because they're going, go to commercial, you fool. Coming up next, Pat Benatar. So stay with us. <laughs> Probably my high point was actually getting the record deal because it was a struggle of, you know, of 25 years of being a chorus girl, of doing commercials where you're the meat that holds up the product, you know, of straggling around. When I finally got the deal, I went, well, all right, now I get a chance to either show what I've got, I can step from the pack now and do it. Uh, the low point, I haven't had any lows, I mean, I've gone through some changes here, but I think the low was when I had a first record deal with a major company and they simply did not know what to do with me and they fired me. Yeah. That's, and, oh, uh, that's, that's the low. That I've happened to you? Well, first of all, I had the best time with all of you. <laughs> we had to make this an annual reunion. Absolutely. But you're all going to be such, well, you are such big stars. And, yeah, she'll never get you here again in one pile. <laughs> <laughs> if you had advice, fast advice, to give to young singers out there, what would you say? Right into the camera. We have one, we have half a minute. You start. Um, I would say just believe in your dream, keep okay. seeing it, and work on it. Okay. What about you, Pat? Don't let anyone tell you what to do because you know best. Practice ahead of time. Don't wait till <laughs> your break to then decide to really work on your music. I would say don't. <laughs> On tomorrow's 
show, True Love Crimes, frightening real life stories of women whose husbands try to kill them. Ah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> South vibes, but I got a great cat out of it, Nick, and yeah. he does dog tricks. All right. And, and the second movie, it never went anywhere, but I got a husband. Oh. I married the. I did. I married the murderer. Oh, oh was, yeah. Yeah, he was the murderer in the movie, and I married him because you know he was like the good guy. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it yeah. was. He Did wasn't you... a good guy in the movie, but the good thing is that when they play murderers, they come home and they act extra nice because they're horrified about the day <laughs> they just had. And so, you know, he actually, we had a great time, and in it was a great place to fall in love, Miami Beach. Yeah. And, you know, I was standing out on the beach saying, you know, my own, I, you know, look at things and I, you know, say, you know, oh, I wish I was a kite, you know. And usually people say, yeah, okay, no problem. And they just, you know, go about their business. But my husband turned around and said to me, you know, I says, oh, but then everybody pulled my string, you know. <laughs> and he said to me, why not be a wave? And I thought, you know, I, I all of a sudden was stunned because this fellow heard me. Yeah. And not only did he hear me, but he's a poet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I turned around to him and I saw him differently. And we were friends, and it just developed into this very wonderful little romance that actually turned into more than just, um, yeah. you know, a movie romance, you know, which you're not supposed to really have, because, yeah. you know, it's not really that professional. Okay, can yeah. we talk, yeah, Joe? Yeah. Let me tell you. I was supposed to have you on the Tonight Show. I never did. I was supposed to have you on the Fox Show. I never I did. I know. I think you are just adorable. Mm -hmm. I am so oh. glad to finally meet you. Just, I wish I was with you. I wish I was there with you. I'm from the East Coast. I just wish you luck and happiness. The name of the, the, the new album is Hat Full of Stars. Call me when you're in New York, and we'll have a good laugh together. Okay. My best to your husband. Be very nice to him. Did you get a big ring? Let me see. No, he gave me a, my engagement ring. It's a regard ring. It's very I romantic. Yeah. I, oh. I want jewels. We, we want, want jewels. jewels. It's a it's a ring from the Victor. It's a Victorian ring, and they used to give this to their sweethearts. Yeah, good for on them. Valentine. Get yourself. All right, I know. Don't get lost. I know. But hey, you know, that's why I felt this guy. You it's know? very charming. Get a big ring this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for being with us.